Hi, this is Toby and today I'll be showing you how to harvest your Schlumbergera seeds or seed pods. Now, if you want to know how I pollinated these seed pods or pollinated the flowers actually to get the seed pods, you can check out my video on Schlumbergera from buds to bloom and I'll link that in the description below. I'll also include a clip of that video here just to show you how, it, how I pollinated it or actually to show what the fruit looked like before it turned color. The flower, so again with our brush, we gently give it a couple of strokes on the anthers. Look at that beautiful pollen. And I know you can't really see in there. We see that purple thing sticking out, that is the stigma. And we are going to just give it a little gentle brush with all that pollen on it. It's very nice. If we go over here, this is the one that I know is successful. You can see the bottom has started to swell up a bit. The flower that's dried up, you can see, it's, if you gently press it, it's hard. It hasn't died back as opposed to some of the other ones. You can see when the flower dries up, this thing dies back. Now this one, I'm not sure because the flower is dried up, but the seed pod hasn't fell off. So there's still hope with this. So this could be the first time I'm going to get a seed on this plant. So at this stage, a couple of months after you pollinate your fruit or actually around half a year because this did flower in autumn and of last year and it's already 2022 it's been around six months or more and you'll notice your fruit will start to change color you see on that one the fruit has changed color however at this stage do not pull your fruit off it has not ripened fully yet if you gently press it it's still firm at this stage you probably have to wait a couple more months before you can actually take it off when it's ripe, it will actually fall off by itself. Um, you don't need to pull it or anything. If you just gently tap it like that, it should fall off when it's completely ripe. But right now, it's just changed color and it has not completely ripened yet. So you're gonna have to leave it on for a bit longer. So at this stage, I hope you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. The fruit is wrinkled and I know you can see the plant is flowering. Um, I think it's been, I'm pretty sure it's been a year. I usually flowers around the same part of a year. So let's take the fruit off. Let's see if I can reach. Let's take the fruit off. It's wrinkled. It's already squishy. So I need to be careful not to lose it. There we go. Oh, and I've already squeezed it a bit, but I'm gonna show you how to actually harvest this. So here's a close up of the fruit. You can see when I pulled it, it was a bit, it was a bit soft and squishy. So now it's time to open it up. Now you could cut it open with a knife, but if it's fully ripe, you don't really need to. I'm just gonna pull the dead flower head off. And all I'm gonna do now, kind of just squeeze this and just rub it on the paper. I hope you can see those seeds. Look how many seeds we have. I've kind of just crushed it. Now I'm gonna try to rip it open. And now I'm gonna smear the contents of the fruit on a paper towel. I hope you can see all those nice, lovely seeds. Hope you can see that. So now once you get all the seeds out, and that's pretty much all the seeds, what you gotta do now is wait for this to dry and then you can store the seeds. Now they do have to be sown in spring. I'm just gonna get some seeds off my fingers, but they do have to be sown in spring. And once you sow your seeds successfully, I will show you what they look like after a year or so. So if you sow your seeds in spring and they germinate successfully, after around two years time, this is what you end up with. So a nice little pack of seedlings. Now I did the same cross as the seedlings here. So this was the purple one, which was this plant crossed with the Christmas fantasy. So I did that cross with that seed pod. And these seedlings are also from the same cross. I haven't seen the flowers. I will show you in the future if they do flower, but you can already see the genetic variance between the segments you see this one's much more smooth while that one's much more jagged so if you you can grow these from seeds you don't have to grow them from cuttings and you will get a different colored flower i'm pretty sure so i am very excited to see how this batch of seedlings go so i hope you understand how to harvest schlumbergera seed pods now and i think it's a very interesting thing since schlumbergera flower pretty much at the same time these cultivars you'll get plenty of opportunity to cross pollinate and it'll be exciting to see what the seedlings look like when they flower. And as far as I'm concerned, I think they are self-sterile. So if you try pollinating with itself, it probably will not fruit. 
that's why I have a lot of cultivars and if you can just start cross pollinating them, you get a lot of variety in the seedlings. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.